Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you guys some top features that I found on WatchOS 5. I'll be showing you guys how to get WatchOS 5 in the link down below. The thing I want to show you guys is the Wi Fi setting on the Apple Watch, and this is like really big because. It's Wi-Fi. You could pick your own Wi-Fi network. Your phone doesn't have to do it for you. And you can turn the Wi-Fi on and off from your settings. Also came in the settings was website data. So if you guys watch till the end of the video, I will show you how to actually open websites on your Apple Watch in WatchOS 5. Now, when you're near closing an app you now see that it's when you swipe it it's actually red instead of how it was before in watch OS 4 instead of 5 Siri watch face which now has third-party apps that Apple said about it on their website that link will also be in the description, but now when you customize it, you can actually put it in gray instead of the normal colors. And the Siri watch face has always been great for helping out, and now you can customize it even more. So that will help out a lot in watchOS 5. Next feature on the list is raise to speak, but this feature has not yet been like used before. I've never used it before. And right here, raise to speak. It says talk to Siri by raising your wrist and speaking to your, into your Apple Watch without saying "Hey Siri." So we'll see how that works in Watch OS Five. There are new apps for the Apple Watch in WatchOS 5. And if you can see that correctly, the Podcasts app are there. So now you can go through podcasts that you have on your phone. So the Podcasts app takes a little while to load for me. Comment down below if yours is faster. But... Mm, I'm just going to go on to the next one. We have the all new walkie talkie app and Apple said that it'll be able to, you'll be able to communicate with other people faster than talking through a call. So it says coming soon right when you go into the app. So we hope that it's going to come out in beta 2. This is a really good feature because say if we were in the podcasts app again, and we wanted to go to the control center. Well, it's working now, but um, the control center, what we would have to do is we'd have to go back home in watch OS 4 and wait and then go to the control center. But now we have the chance to hold down the bottom and pull it up and it'll both come up so you can do this with the notification center too and then that's pretty much it next I want to talk about workouts for the Apple watch and Apple actually added two new workouts and those workouts are yoga and before you used to have to go to the other workout and then click yoga when you're done with the workout, but that used to only be a name. Now it's an actual workout. So it's very different than how you would normally see it. And now these buttons have changed too. So when you click on end, still the same thing, but now you have another app now you have another workout, which is hiking. And if you click the three dots, you can choose a distance too. 
Now, when you open the hiking workout, you can see elevation. Right there. So, that is also a new feature on watchOS 5. If your Apple Watch feels like you're not taking a workout anymore and you've stopped, then it'll alert you that do you want to end your workout? This is a new watch face that we got with watch os 5 and it's a really nice watch face you can customize it but not much to really customize still a nice watch face so i wanted to show you guys the new activity competitions and it, as you can see the the activity app has changed it's like more square and now you can see all your workouts down there and when you swipe, you don't only see sharing, but you can also see competitions. Major feature for watchOS 5 is editing the control center. You can scroll down and edit, tap on edit right there, and drag whatever you want, whatever you mostly use. So say if you don't use, you use Wi-Fi the most, you bring it to the top, or if you used this the most, you bring that to the top. I like it the way it is because I already memorized the whole control center, and I think it's nice the way it is. Another feature in weather is this right here, wait. You can actually add a city. So, if I say, it'll actually search, and then you can click on it. And I'll show you all the stuff. And now you can actually tap to change which one you want to see. And next, you can actually scroll to see the air quality, UV index, and the wind speed. Then you have your 10-day forecast on top of that. And now you have the option to remove the city you added. When you're in the Messages app now, you can click on the emoji right there, and there's no swiping. These are the recents, and then these are the frequently used. And you can actually scroll on these, and now they actually are categorized to see to be easier and more simple for you. Many people use the feature Do Not Disturb on their Apple Watch. So now if you actually hold down on it, it says do not disturb. It's on, on for one hour, on until tomorrow morning, and then all until I leave. Or all, on until end of event, if you have an event running. You actually got a watch face change in watchOS 5, and it is the astronomy watch face. Now... Down here, we used to have two complications, and then we used to be able to change it from the moon to the solar system. Now, all we can do is force touch, customize, then change to which one you want. And if you didn't recognize just now, it's blue right there and there. And when you spin it, up here it's blue. And down here it's blue. There you have it. A few new features for the Apple Watch. And these are the top features 
that you're going to have when you upgrade, hopefully. And I just want to say, before you upgrade, do it on a different Apple Watch because there are risks. So, you guys have it. Top features for the Apple Watch OS 5. And if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And like, subscribe, and comment.